So today I'm going to be testing out this Sumo Springs on a 2020 Toyota Highlander. So they're supposed to help with the uh, rear end sag. They're just these uh, rubber rings that feed into the uh, spring coil. You basically just twist them right into a spring coil. Test out if these uh, Sumo Springs or just hype or if they actually do work and help um, with and we're gonna measure how far they drop down I set up this little measurement thing here and right now it's zeroed out and uh, as it sags down with weight we'll see how many inches it drops so I'm gonna try it without the uh, sumo springs installed and then with the sumo springs installed right here I have uh, 488 pounds of uh, feed some dog food chicken food so the stock height of the highlander is 32 and a half we're at 32 and a half okay i'm gonna load the back end with this uh, feed 50 pounds at a time they're 50 pound bags see how the sag works this is without the uh, sumo springs installed so let's see how bad the sag is uh, not settled down no at uh, three and a half three and a half right there just a smidgen over yeah this is a half inch from the fender to the wheel I have the other one installed now and I'm facing the split on the outside like the other one I just gotta put the zip ties on and we'll check the height stock height was 32 and a half now we're at uh, 33 and an eighth so it went about 5 eighths of an inch just over a half an inch here we got the 488 pounds of weight that we're going to put on the hitch rack and now we have the sumo spring 1195s installed so we're going to see how well this supports the rear end and it's at about three and a quarter drop down i'm pretty sure it's just smashed down on the bump stops Looks fine. Another one over here. Looks like it's holding fine. It's about thirty and five eighths. Looks like there's about inch and a quarter inch and a quarter between the uh, fender and the top of the wheel all right so let's take this for a drive and see how it uh, performs with the uh, sumo springs installed uh, before with the stock definitely noticed the back end was really saggy every time you give it gas you felt the back end drop um, Right off the bat, I feel that it's a little stiffer. I feel like you're riding a little higher in the back. I feel like I'm a different angle. But overall, I do feel a little, a little more stiffness in the back. I kind of like it a little stiffer. I don't like it so soggy in the back. Whenever you turn, you give a gas, feeling that drop down in the back. I kind of like it a little, feel like it, I like it feeling like it's pushing back a little bit. Probably because I drive pickup trucks mostly. It feels a little more sportier, I think. It doesn't tilt the side to side as much. 
So I've driven give or take 2,000 miles with the Sumo Spring 1195s installed. And I found where it doesn't help a lot with the balancing of the load so much. It does help with the amount of bounce you get on your rear end. And it helps a lot, I've noticed. And it's pretty much worth its value in just reducing the amount of roll you get. Or the sway back and forth when you're turning, um, switching lanes. It really cuts out that wobble that you get in the car. And moreover, uh, it makes it feel a lot sportier when you're driving around, stiffening the rear end up a little bit. And uh, helps when you have extra passengers in as well. So that's my take and my experience on the Sumo Springs. So don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you're finding this content useful. Thanks.